What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something a bit different. We're going to do a soccer player, but it's Messi holding the World Cup trophy, giving it a big kiss. So we're on landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. Starting with the trophy, just to get it in the right place, right? So center point of my page is about here. So we'll go up and we'll just do draw the top curve of the trophy. And then we'll maybe try and get the facial features in for the man himself, right? So I, there's a hand over it, right? So I'm just going to draw like half of it. And it's, and it's not like perfectly circular. It's a bumpy gold sort of thing. Right? So don't worry if you don't get it perfectly circle. So it kind of just comes down onto his face here. And then it becomes like a different shape down there. So, right, so that's the top of the trophy, right? And there's all stuff inside, but we'll do that at the end. Right, so <clears throat> coming out from here, about halfway, right, we have Messi's nose. So it's just this, and it's like squished up against the trophy, so it, it really does touch it, right? So it goes, starts here. And then we got like a slightly curved line that goes up like so, right? <clears throat> this is his nose, right? So his nostril, you can see it's wide open. So his nostril is kind of like in here. Okay, and the tip of the nose will go around, right? And you got to like, we've got to darken this up pretty much. We'll add like a big shadow in here just to show that we can see inside his nose. Okay, and then he's got all beard and stuff coming out from it, but right, so the side of his nostril is gonna go kind of touches his cheek a bit, but no nostril, so we go around like so and then up around here, okay. Okay. Right. So his forehead then will go up here and then it'll go around this bump and then back to there. Right. So his head is kind of horizontal to the trophy. So this is his brow, right? So we got got nose, steps up, brow. So you can see like his eyebrow on the other side there. And that means the other eyebrow is here. So we can just like draw that in, steps down, back up, into here. And you might have like some more sort of light hairs coming down this way. Okay. So just underneath the brow here, like across from the nostril, is his closed eye lid, right? So you got like these eyelashes just here sticking up, right? And we'll do them just quite dark black. And the line for his closed eyelid will go this way. And it goes quite long because he's got like a couple of wrinkles just on the side of his eye. Okay. Like so. And we got to draw in his skin for his eyelid, right? So his eyes close, but his eyelid goes up this way. And you got another little bump for a wrinkle, like an eyelid line here. Right, and this goes back that way. And then you have another little bump here as well. So we got the lines for the inside of his nose inside here, right? So we got like these, the structure of his nose sort of coming in this way. And then we have like his bottom eyelid line, right? So you can just see it coming sort of out here and around. We've got some wrinkles and stuff. And kind of like this. And then the bridge of his nose you might have like a light line there, something coming up this way. 
There's some light lines, but not nothing major. Just like his. It's just sort of skin lines there. All right, and then like some white goes up and down his eyes. Like so. Let's add some more eyelashes to this sort of thing here. <clears throat> right, so then we got like his temple just coming up the side of his head here. And then maybe some like wrinkles on his forehead. Like so. Right, so we'll go down and just do his lips, right? So we can just see a tiny little sliver of his lip here. Middle line for his mouth. Pursed lips. So just kissing the, the trophy, touching it there. And the bottom. Around like so. Okay, and then his chin sticks out from here, and he's got a beard. He's got pretty much a full beard, right? So you got to do it sort of this hairy sort of line. Coming out around, down to the jaw, and then his hair goes up. His beard goes up towards his ear. His sideburns, right? And then the beard comes out from around his nose, right? And like this. And then it goes up his face here, this side. Goes right up. Starts to touch his hair then just down here we've got like some texture just to show that it is a beard right so it goes and some hairlines and stuff And so, as much of this texture now as you want, okay? That's kind of the shape we got so far. Right, so he does have sort of a cheekbone going down this way, right? So just a light sort of line, just for his cheekbone there. Okay, and then like some more sort of wrinkles on his eyes, just there. It's interesting drawing a character from this angle. I don't think I've ever done this. So that's his nose, just in there. Another sort of line there. Right, so he's got an ear in here, okay? So pretty close to the edge of the beard here right so big earlobe right like that and then it'll basically just go around so his head is horizontal remember so it's going around like this it's this sort of shape right and it'll have some kind of like skin lines and things where it connects Like these kind of wrinkles and stuff and then lines inside so the easiest way is always a letter j right that just goes like this kind of thing and then you can make it more detailed if you want and you can do some more
hands inside like that, right? <clears throat> and then the rest of his beard comes up, right? But then his head is shaved up this side. So we have to go to his hairline up here, right? So he's got like spiky sort of hair. Come down like this way. And then it goes in towards his eye, goes towards this direction. So it'll go. And this is like kind of shaved hair. So then, and then he has, so he's got like the long, he's got a fade sort of on his hair, right? So the fade sort of goes this way, down behind. And this could have some dots and textures and stuff on it. And then his hair sort of spikes out here on this side. Okay. Right, so and this like texture goes that way on that side of his hair as well. And then we just keep bringing this down around the back of his head down to his neck. So his head is tilted back, so it's kind of like squishing the back of his neck. And then his hair gets like, so the fade is like here as well. So the hair gets kind of really short here. There's one like so, and the back of his head is here. So we've got like some neck folds for skin. And like what we can see of his like hair, not much. Because it's all shaved here. Not sure how I feel about this stuff inside the eye. I might have to raise it. I don't know. It's a bit better, I think. I don't care, just draw. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, so his neck, so it comes down this way. He's He's got some hair on his neck down here as well. But I think I'll just leave that. We'll do its skin, right? So it comes down, we got his Adam's apple. Comes out there, might be a little shadow just going that way. And then we've got like his Adam's apple that goes in, but we've got a neck muscle around the other side. Comes down there. Right? And then we got a neck muscle that kind of comes down from his jaw. And then the neck muscle and wrinkles and stuff that come around his ear here. Some wrinkles. Right, so then his shoulder is just his like jersey. Okay, so his sleeve of his jersey is like here. Okay, and his arm goes this way. And then we can see like bumps and stuff for the shoulder just coming across here. So we're going like up this way. And I think it just goes across his neck, like there. And then goes down the back, always bumping, wrinkling, 
sort of thing because it's fabric, right? So in the bottom of the sleeve, it goes this way. And then there's some stitching that goes around here and some that comes down this way. And then we have the blue line for Argentina going that way. And the black, so there's like black textures and stuff. And like another wrinkle line there. And then there's like a couple of black lines here. And a couple up here as well. And then we got like some more wrinkles. Just fabric lines like that. <clears throat> and then, so that's like the back. And the other side of the jersey here. Okay, so his arm then, so we can just see sort of his bicep sticking out here. And then his tricep was sort of off the bottom of my page just about, but it'll come back in up here. That just connects like so. And you could have like his tricep line going that way. And like there's some forearm lines and stuff, but we'll just, this is the elbow, which goes up his arm here and his forearm comes out here okay and you have like a, his wrist bone here like some forearm lines and stuff there you can see like his other shoulder in here Just adding some texture lines to his forearm. <clears throat> Alright, we can see some black stripes on the other shoulder over here. Like that. Right, so now a hand. Tricky, tricky hand. So So the hand, the index finger goes up, the thumb goes around the back, right? So we go, thumb starts to come out here and it goes, it's kind of foreshortened. So it goes underneath, bumps a little bit, comes around into there, right? And you can see like his thumbnail just on top in there. And then this joins his index finger, which goes up towards this center line right so we got like some knuckles you got to kind of bump it a little bit all right so it goes up and then we'll bring it around like that okay and then the next one is curling around so it's shorter right so it'll go like this around the back and the next one shorter again because it's holding the trophy And shorter again. And then this will join the back of his hand then. Like so. OK, 
Okay, so just some details on the hand now, just to make it look more like a hand. So we've got like some fingernails. You can kind of see a fingernail on top up here. Can't see a fingernail here, really. We can see some like knuckle lines. And then some of these. <clears throat> and then his bones on his hand. Okay, so to make it look like he's kind of holding this, right? So we have to sort of draw the rest of the trophy and then the other hand, what we can see of it. So, rest of the trophy, sort of here. And some of his fingers will cover this as well, but we'll just draw it in, right? There's all details inside this, but we'll just get the main shape done first, right? So it just like sticks out the end to about there, and then we bring it back like so, okay? It's like the side of his hand and his thumb line. Right, so then his other arm is like in here, right? So we've got like the bottom of his hand here. So you've got this kind of W shape in between these two. And then his wrist comes out this way, comes down to his forearm, which goes down there. And then this side comes down like so. And then we've got like his wrist bone for his. Like so, like that. And then his bicep going that way. I think we can see his captain's armband or something here. Or maybe it's just the end of his jersey. <clears throat> so he's got some fingers coming up from holding the trophy a little bit, like here. So you can just see like a finger on the other side sticking up there you just see the base of the fingers really you can't see much else so like another one here somewhere little finger you can see a bit more of. Like a fingernail on it. But just like, not much, just stuff like that. Okay, so there's some more details on the cup, right? So like green stripes along the bottom and then there's like an end that we can see here. Something else inside here. And this has like lines. And there's all writing on it, but I won't be able to do that. 
So we'll just divide this up into sections and then we'll add texture on the cup itself, right? So you've got like all these like lines like this, like wrinkles and stuff. Some of them may be darker than others, more shadowy than others. <clears throat> Up here as well, so it's like these wings that are like holding the trophy. There's like a head or something in here, and then another wing going that way. It's down like that, so it's like a head, right? So, but there's no details, it's all this textures and stuff that's about it and then it looks like this is supposed to be the globe but it's hard to make out anything really so we'll just add we'll just add these shapes Okay, and of course you you color that gold or whatever. Right, and then the last step I usually do is thicken up my edge lines just to make everything stand out a little bit more. <clears throat> and just down here there is, I forgot some, some more sort of lines for the black and blue sort of stripes on his jersey and the crest is just in there as well. Just some of those little lines. Right, but I think that's the best I can do. How does it look? It's not bad, is it? I never know until I like look at it after. Okay, congratulations, Lionel Massey. You deserve it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.